These are our two new breeds for this year. The treeing walker coon hound. The name comes from what they do. They tree the raccoons for the hunters. It's you can see there's some English, there's some American foxhound in it. This is the tree and walker coon hound. This is Meg, she's three years old. And they were developed from a line of foxhounds in Kentucky by a family with the last name Walker. Uh, those dogs became known as running walkers throughout the years. And then these guys were developed to tree raccoons and they named them treeing walkers. So you could distinguish between the two and give them a new name. There's six breeds of coonhound. The tree and walker is by far the most dominant at winning the hunts that we compete in. They are the very athletic and they are very consistent at what they do, and when you find one that's good, you usually go out and win with it. Uh, they dominate the larger hunts, and we, we hunt for anything from trophies and ribbons to money and trucks. So it depends on ever how much you want to effort you want to put into it. There's all kinds of games to be played with these dogs. The Russell Terriers um, are are the Russell Terriers that everybody sees and looks at as a Jack Russell. But it, when we talk about the breed development, it depends on who you speak to as to how the breed actually developed. It's a separate breed from the Parson Russell Terrier. In the mid-80s, the AKC recognized the Jack Russell Terrier for competition. And now, uh, and shortly after that, about three years after that, changed, it, changed the name to the Parson Russell Terrier. So the Jack Russells were sort of left hanging. They kind of regrouped and became the Russell Terriers and are now... Here is part of our uh, part of our 187 breeds and varieties. Our breed has been around for a long time, but we just started working on getting them accepted into the AKC five years ago, and it involved you know finding a parent club and then registering the dogs and getting a big enough gene pool to where we could be accepted into the AKC in the miscellaneous breed, which we did for two years. And now last June we were accepted into the Terrier group. So this is the first time we've been able to work towards being in the Terrier group at Westminster, so it's very exciting.